Hi, this is Vero from Choose to Be. Today I have another great workout for strengthening and stretching the upper body, the arm, the back, and helping with posture. So if you're a beginner, just use this as a workout. It will take you four minutes. And if you've been exercising for a while, use this as a warm up. So keep an open mind. Don't just look at me. Please join along because these exercises look like pretty easy when you look at them but when you do then you will see the challenge so join along and we're going to do an interval training again so don't need to change don't need any equipment just join in so here we go we're going to get started so <clears throat> you're going to turn the palm up flexing through the wrist pulling the finger as much as you can towards yourself and we're going to go down and up Flexing through the wrist, trying to lengthen the arm as much as you can. Nice. From there, big wrist circle, making fist. And same thing, other direction. So always thinking about posture. So you should be hip width apart with the feet, knees slightly bent, pelvis tucked in, flexing through the wrist, big shoulder roll back. So again, pelvis tucked in, weight on both feet, rib cage in, and tucking the chin in. So thinking about the integrity of the spine. Nice posture and nice deep breathing. If you need to release the arm, please do so. Up, push to the side, and down. Up, push to the side, down. Again, keep flexing through the wrist. I am right now at Pacific Garden Co-housing. Pretty cool place. Check it out if you want to know more. So here, we're just turning the elbow up, elbow down, up, down. Almost there. And we're gonna turn the thumb as far back as you can, and then forward forward and back. Internal rotation, external rotation. <sighs> Trying to stretch the arm out as much as you can. So stretching and lengthening. And the same time pulling and pushing. So you're creating your own resistance as you do so. Keeping the core engaged, rib cage in. Pelvis tucked in, nice deep breathing. Again, inhale as you pull, exhale as you push. Palm up, pulling towards the ears and pushing up. So again, creating your own resistance. Keeping the elbow high, shoulder height if possible. Nice. Palm forward, and we're going to pull it back. Ah, nice. Probably next one will be your favorite. I'm going to lower the arm so I'm almost there. And down, palm back, pressing it back. Here, I'm going to turn sideways, so I don't want you to do this with your rib cage. I want you to be strong here and just pressing the arm back. Might be a small movement, that's okay. Working on shoulder mobility here. And a little strengthening at the same time. <sighs> Hug yourself. Nice. Have a little bonus for you. It'll be one minute. So what are we going to do? I'm going to stretch our arms forward. I'm going to open our hands as big as we can, opening through the finger. Close, I'm going to open, close, and open. And you're going to go as fast as you can. We're going to do this for one minute. So we're strengthening the forearms, muscle, and also stretching at the same time, a little bit of both. 
So it's so important to keep the forearm strength, especially as we aging. There are so many things we take for granted, but forearm strength is really important for autonomy. So brushing your hair, brushing your teeth, playing cards. So <laughs> this is a great exercise. If one minute is too long, just build up some endurance. Stop and start again, that's okay. Almost there, open big, close, as big as you can and as fast as you can. You probably see I'm slowing down. <sighs> nice, and just shake it up. Nice. High five. Well done. I hope I see you again. If you like this, share and stay connected. Hope to see you soon. Bye.